What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at our boy DSP's daily wrap after a pretty bad day of streaming for Phil. Of course, Phil will tell you every daily wrap, it was an awesome day, but it wasn't. We know that Phil has awesome days when the liquidity is on point and the support is just, you know, when, it, when he hits his tip goals. And he did not hit his tip goals on the first and the second stream. Mind you, the second stream, he was at $5 until late in the, maybe about 10 minutes before the stream ended. And someone dropped a $10 bill on our boy Phil. If it wasn't for that, it would have been a $5 Street Fighter stream. And you could just tell that the momentum is dropping. I mean, even our boy Jack Rockster couldn't borrow his mom's credit card to drop a $30 donation. It was pretty sad. So watching Phil just do the cope and try not to beg was just hilarious. So let's see what Phil has to say on his daily rap. G Fighter 6 again, and it was the night of Marisa, where basically I played for around two and a half hours of Marisa tonight. Um, first hour, much tougher to play with her than it was when I first started. Why? Because almost everyone now that I'm playing online in Street Fighter 6 is using the same five or six characters and the same style of gameplay. So the characters would be, for example, Jamie, Jury, Cammy, uh, Ken, DJ, uh, to some extent, Chun Li. Uh, I could I could keep going. I would have to look through the whole cast, but there's like five to six characters roughly that play almost exactly the same. They're all oh, I have a very safe situation at, at, at you know mid screen where I can throw out a normal move, and if it hits you, I can dash cancel into a giant combo. I have a lot of safe things like mashing jab will beat most of your moves. So if you're up close, I'll just mash and hopefully if it hits, I lead to a giant combo. And usually it has kind of a, a mix up, easy mix up setup in the corner so that basically if you get into the corner, you're kind of completely at a disadvantage. All right. It's frustrating to say the least to fight that because these people are not using a lot of skill. I, I hate to say it, they're just not. They've learned basic patterns. They're basically playing the game like Street Fighter V. And I don't like Street Fighter V. I'm happy that there are characters in Street Fighter VI that play nothing like Street Fighter V, and those are roughly the characters I'm using. I'm not using these characters. You do one pattern over and over, and this dominates everything. I think that's ridiculously stupid. It's not. Okay, because you choose to play with characters that you call not safe. That is, that is a problem of the game and a problem of your competitors because you choose to play with Marisa, Zangi, and Balsi. Knowing that the meta of the game kind of leans towards more faster, smaller players, Phil. So because you want to be bullheaded and you want to do things your way and you don't want to take advice, you continue picking these fighters like Marisa, Balsi, and Zangi. And you keep losing to them. And you want to complain and say, well, uh, the reason why is because I'm going up against fighters like Jamie and J JD and characters that have an advantage over the characters I'm playing. How about you stop picking Marisa, you stop picking Zangi, and you actually get good with one of the characters that fit the game, the, the meta of the game, Phil. And I would definitely love to see that because you tried that. You did it with Lily and you were still terrible. Uh, who else did you play with? I think uh, that were smart. Lily, yeah, I think that was the only one. Oh, you tried Mano for a bit and you were terrible. So it doesn't seem to matter who you play with, Phil. The outcome still occurs. Like right here, you're playing with Marcia and you're fighting against uh, Ken. I think it is Ken, yeah. And you get dominated. You get dominated. And keep watching this video because you're going to see the fighting in the background and he fights multiple characters. And it doesn't matter who he fights. He still loses. Fun, but that's how these people are playing. So now when I'm trying to pick these characters that aren't that style, um, I'm having a real hard time. You know, almost the entire first 45 minutes tonight with Marisa were close matches that I would end up losing the set. I would get one win, they would get one win, they would win the set. I'd be like, ah, oh, it drives you nuts. And a lot of the times it was because of one random drive impact hitting me leading to like a 60 plus percent combo or them mashing a jab or a save button leading to a dash cancel giant combo. It's like, yeah, but not everyone has that. And it's stupid that these characters are dominating like this online. So basically it was almost all the same. Now the good news is I tried to adapt. I tried to change my game up a little bit thanks to the people who were here like Big Papa Phil and others <clears throat> that were giving advice. The second hour, well, hour and a half of Marisa gameplay was almost all wins. 
it was a lot of win streaks. I had two, three win streaks going. Um, even though maybe I would win or I would win the first match, even if I lost the second match of the set, I would win the set. Okay, most you know sets I was winning, but it was like a lot of adaptation. And what it is is a lot of people are starting to run away. They realize that against Marisa, she can't really do that much to people who are just running away constantly. She's more of mid-range domination and or counter hitting to big damage. But if you're just walking back and throwing fireballs, she has a really hard time getting in on someone. You have to like get to the to the mid-range to the corner so they can't just sit there throwing fireballs anymore to, to beat them. So again, characters like DJ, Jury. I was having a hard time just mid-range people doing fireballs. I couldn't really do much. And it was weird because sometimes I would do level three super through a fireball mid-screen. It would hit and do giant counter damage. I was like, yes. And other times I tried it and it would it would stop and not hit them. And I'm like, so it's not even consistent. Like, what is the exact distancing and situation where I can use this move? Because I was trying to even bait the situation and sometimes it would still miss. <clears throat> Okay, all I'm hearing here is just nothing but excuses. And I want to counter Phil's point by saying, no, he did not go on no massive win streaks on the, in the second hour. He won a few matches. I think at most he would win two in a row. That, that's what he did. I'd, I'd admit to that, that he won two in a row. But throughout the night, he lost way more matches than he won. You can clearly see it. I mean, I actually watched the whole thing. I mean, Lord help me. Uh, but it, it didn't matter who you fought. Again, that's the other thing. You're complaining that these uh, it's, you're losing to these safe characters. But if you watch your playthroughs, you're fighting everyone. You're fighting Zangief. You're fighting Dalsim. It doesn't matter who you go up against. You get, you're getting clapped. You're losing, Phil. You just are. So the good news is I got a lot of wins with Marisa tonight. I did. I think my wins are way up tonight because that second hour and a half that we played, I was doing really well. But it wasn't necessarily as fun as I wish it was. When all I'm doing is facing the same style of gameplay over and over. There's almost, I mean, there was a few Zangiefs. That's cool. Uh, but for example, we didn't fight a, a Dalsim. We didn't fight a Guile. We didn't fight an E Honda. We didn't fight, um, we did fight a few, a couple Kimberly. I think we've only fought like one Ryu. Um, like if every night, oh, no JPs. It was all almost the same. Almost the entire night is the same four or five characters over and over. That's stupid. And that's like, wow. So everyone just decided to crap out the same gameplay. They all like kind of gave up on trying to learn characters down. It's the same shit over and over. That's not very fun, honestly. I wish that there were more people doing variety. You know, I seem to be one of the people doing variety. I'm not playing the same characters like everybody else. That's a good thing. But at the same time, it makes the gameplay harder for me because I don't have the tools these other guys have, so. Okay. Uh, I wanted to stop it there because as you can see right here, uh, there is a gameplay of uh, him fighting Zangief. And he actually played three matches in a row with uh, against Zangief. Uh, he played two matches with one guy and then another person came in with another Zangief. They played one match and he lost all three matches. Now mind you again, these aren't one of those safe characters that Phil likes to talk about. Zangief is just like Marcia. They're power fighters. Um, and they require to be up close to actually fight and he lost these matches So again, it doesn't matter who he's fighting. He's losing now I want to of course bring up one additional point here is that as you notice as he progresses in the game Right as the more he plays it the less the tips are so um, The hype for Street Fighter is actually dying down. It is his his last few um his last few uh, streams of Street Fighter has been very, the support's been very slow. And if it wasn't for Sunday night where Jack Rax drew up that one big tip, it would have been dead, just like it was dead last night. Um, so I think Phil's um, not having fun is mostly equated to the uh, support for Street Fighter just dying out. It just is. And of course he's milking it because he's playing it, I mean, almost three or four times a week, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more than that. And he's just doing the same thing. He's essentially just playing online matches and just losing. That's all it is. It's just losing. Now he's getting several hundred, he's getting about three to 400 members, wa viewers watching, but I'm at least if it's 400, at least 300 are trolls, uh, LARPers that are just harassing him, uh, watching him fight. I don't even think the true dents are really out there to even view it. I think they're kind of just got tired of it. 
and they're they're just not watching they're like all right we'll come back for something else um and yeah and i know phil wants to make this his staple game and be known as a street fighter person but he's just not good at it he's just and he's he's not willing to commit to play the game um offline like when he's not streaming and for him to get pretty good at it he's gonna have to play it online i don't understand why he he, he doesn't feel the need to just say okay i'm gonna take one hour at the end of my day or wake up an hour early and just play the game and practice he just refuses to do that he thinks oh i'll just watch someone some, someone's video and learn the moves and then just implement it or do a little bit of training and then just play it's not going to work that way phil you're just going to be an average player if you continue doing it this way and of course um the more you lose um the less people are gonna want to tune in i mean who really wants to watch someone play street fighter and just continuously lose the the people that like to see it are myself or detractors that like to laugh at you when you lose but of course we're not supporting uh so it's kind of a double doubled edge sword for you phil so i think you really need to start moving on and phase street fighter out maybe make it once a week uh, for your Friday night fights, maybe Jack Raxter will drop a $50 dono, uh, kind of go back to the old days. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Street Fighter is kind of drying up here for Phil. Uh, he better hope that Final Fantasy actually brings some of the whales back uh, because his tips have just been pretty dismal uh, and support has been pretty dismal. And as you can also see from his memberships, his memberships have dropped. I think he's down to 690 and that was from 824. So he essentially lost about 130 members in like a week. And if I, if, 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 if I'm, if I'm accurate, I know that probably uh, today's his last day of streaming. Uh, Wednesday or Thursday, he's going to lose another 30. Uh, Cause I think there was a member bomb that occurred uh, around this time, uh, like near his day off. So he's going to drop like another 20 or 30 members. So I know he's going to go probably go into full panic mode because uh, he's really relying on those memberships to uh, grow and uh, support the business. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I expect a beg uh, today on this podcast. Uh, he will stress support. I know he didn't do it yesterday because of his outburst on Sunday where he got snagged for begging and guilt tripping and his dents actually were annoyed with it. And he had to actually do a fruit throated apology. Um, he had to do a fruit throated apology yesterday about his behavior. So of course, yesterday he tried to tame it down, but you know, three or four days of low support, yeah, that's gonna hurt Phil. And tomorrow's his day off. So he needs that liquidity for liquidity for WWE champions. And being the fact that he actually went out Sunday and had two had another meal out with his wife so this will be two in a week and we know phil that he doesn't have according to phil he doesn't have the finances for for to eat out twice a week so our boy phil is going to be struggling anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out